In January of 2020, a shocking crime shook the city of Windhoek, Namibia. A 10-year-old girl, Akundaishe, Natalie Shupomo, was brutally murdered and mutilated by Edward Nkata and his wife, Caroline. The couple then tried to dispose of the body by burning it in a rubbish bin, but their heinous act was discovered by CCTV footage from houses in the street. Edward Nkata was married to his wife, Caroline, who was a teacher at a private school in Windhoek, and they lived in a flat in Rhino Park area of Windhoek. They had three children, a baby boy and two boys aged 8 and 11. They lived in the same house with Rachel Kureva and her daughter, Akundaishe. It is unclear the relationship between the Nkatas and Rachel, but many speculated that they were in a polygamous relationship with Nkata. Rachel had a temporary resident visa and was working as a nurse in a local hospital, and the Nkata's visas had expired in 2019. Caroline had also misrepresented to her school that Akundaishe was her daughter so that she could learn without paying any school fees. On this fateful day, it is unclear the circumstances that led to Edward viciously assaulting the nine-year-old girl on the 24th of January 2020. It is believed that after the assault, in which she was fatally injured, she was placed in a plastic tub in an unconscious state and left to die in a garage at the flat. When they saw that she had died, they removed her body from the flat using a rubbish bin. They disposed the body at a dump site in the street, poured paraffin and set it alight. A charred body was discovered by a school teacher passing the next day. The police used camera footage from houses in the street. They caught Edward and his wife moving a bin the previous night and setting the contents on fire. This is how they connected the dead body to the Nkatas. But when the police arrived at the house on the 26th of January, they only found Rachel in the house because Edward and Caroline were nowhere to be seen. They had fled. When the police questioned Rachel about the absence of her daughter, she claimed that her daughter was in Zimbabwe with her father. The police did not believe this and they arrested her and charged her with murder of her child. She had not reported her daughter missing and the police were suspicious. The Nkatas were arrested after a manhunt that involved roadblocks and public appeals. They were intercepted at Otiwarongo area on the 26th of January 2020 after they had fled by car with their children. When they were intercepted, their children were taken into protective custody, but the parents were whisked away to jail. As they were being transported to Windhoek, the driver of that car lost control of the vehicle, and they were involved in an accident. They were all injured and had to be taken to the hospital. Caroline confessed to her involvement in the crime and implicated her husband as the mastermind. She said that he had forced her to help him dump and burn the body and that she had witnessed him beating the girl to death. She claimed that she was unaware of what was happening and she was afraid of her husband Edward. They were charged with one count of murder, defeating the cause of justice, two counts of fraud for duping the school, forgery because Caroline had forged the girl's report cards and documents and contravening the Immigration Control Act for overstaying in Namibia. Rachel's charges were initially dropped because of insufficient evidence to link her as an accessory to the murder. But Nkata's 11-year-old son gave eyewitness account of her being present during the crime. He had also been severely beaten to the point of being unconscious, and this is what added the charge of attempted murder to the Nkata's. The Nkata's and Rachel appeared in court several times but their trial was postponed due to various reasons such as COVID-19, the lack of legal representation, and the absence of Edward who was hospitalized after the car accident. The case is still pending and the fate of the accused remain uncertain. The motive behind the brutal killing of the 11-year-old girl remains unclear. The police are investigating whether the couple was involved in any cult activities or human trafficking. The case of Edward Nkata and his wife has shocked and outraged the public who had demanded justice for the innocent girl. The couple and Rachel are expected to appear in court on the 24th of January this month where they will face the full wrath of the law. May Akundaishe's soul rest in eternal peace.